Hello everybody and welcome to the 5th episode of how to make the grab pack 2.0 from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 in Unity 3D. We are using Unity version 2020.3.25 F1, but this video will probably work in the newer versions. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I encourage you to do so, or you can just go into the description of the last video and download the project and use it as a starting point for this tutorial. To download the project, you want to go to the Google Drive link in the last video's description and then download the file named grabpack underscore project. And then go into the Unity Hub, click open, and locate the downloaded file. In today's episode, we're going to add smoother movement to the hands instead of them just teleporting to an object. We're also going to add working battery mechanics, so you can pick up batteries, throw them, and use them to power doors or other custom animations. And finally, we're going to change the hand switching animations from this to this. If you're not already subscribed, definitely do that, it helps out a lot, and you'll get notified when I post the next episode. And we're also getting really close to 2000 subscribers. To start off, open the grab pack script. Replace the code with the new version you can find in the Google Drive linked in this video's description. Clicking onto the grab pack, you might notice there are a ton of new references in the inspector. Let's start by setting up a few of them. Set the throw force to 9, delay drag to 0.5, the smooth move duration to 0.36, and then also change the delay before retract to 0.4. Now, let's download the model we are using for the batteries. Thanks to this guy for uploading this to Sketchfab. Make sure you download the FPX version. Once it is downloaded, you can locate the zip file and right click and select Extract All. When it's done extracting, find the new folder it created. You can now drag the model and the textures directly into Unity. Drag the model into your scene and scale it up to 1.3. Next, right click it and select unpack, then unpack completely. You can delete the assets we aren't going to use. Unparent the two remaining models and delete the main object. Add a box collider to the battery and set it to is trigger. Add another box collider that is smaller than the object. Add a rigid body to the battery and check off is kinematic. Then let's make a layer called battery. Also make a tag called battery with an uppercase B. Assign the tag and the layer to the battery. On the battery frame, make a new box collider and shrink it down to look something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Check off is trigger. Let's make a new script on the battery frame called detect battery. The code for this script is available in the Google Drive previously mentioned. Now, make a duplicate of the battery, and remove both colliders and the rigid body. Also, remove it from the battery layer and untag it. Move it into place inside of the frame. You can name it Battery Display. Now, make it a child of the frame object. Make a new point light as a child of the battery display. Configure the settings like so. Deactivate the battery display for now. Duplicate the sliding door we made a few episodes ago. 
Now, on the battery frame, we can reference the battery display that we just made. And for the door animator, use the door that we just copied. Click onto the grab pack and set the battery to the battery layer. Make a new empty game object called left battery location. Make sure it's under the blue hand as a child of hand launcher. Then you have to make sure that its position, rotation, and scale are exactly as shown here or very close to it. Otherwise, when we pick up the battery, it's not going to look right. Now we need to do the same thing for the right hand. Make an empty object called right battery location under the green hand as a child of hand launcher 2. Make sure its position, rotation, and scale are as shown. Click onto the grab pack and reference these two objects in their correct spots. Now it's time to make these hand switching animations. To make this animation, just go to the grab pack animator object and to the animation tab. You can edit the switch hands animation so it starts normal and then on the third frame is rotated so you can no longer see the right hand. Then, animate it slowly returning to normal, but the green hand is upside down. Then, the green hand rotates around to look normal again. It's really hard to show this type of thing in a tutorial, so I also just left the animation file in the Google Drive so you can download it and try it yourself. But, I've never shared animation through the Google Drive, so let me know if you can get it to work. You also may need to edit the blue zone smaller on the transition between switch hands idle and switch hands. And as a bonus feature for this video, even though almost everybody preferred option 2, which is actually the lighting that is currently being used, there were still people that liked the first option, so I will include it as a completely optional step. All you have to do is go to the package manager and make sure the Unity registry is toggled, and then search for post processing. Then click install. Because of the way I set the project up, it should automatically load all the effects that I'm using. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're having issues, please feel free to leave a comment describing the problem and I'll try to respond to as many as I can. In the next video, I want to add the blue hand scanners that can open doors, which I've been meaning to add for a while now, and lots of other polish and viewer suggested ideas along with a lot of bug fixes. Again, thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.